this video, I want to show you how to set up Sublime Text 3 for editing contact scripts. And I've done a previous video about this using Niels Lieberg's uh, KSP compiler add-on for Sublime Text. That was an open source project and it's actually been taken over now by some new developers. And it's available on GitHub and it's had a lot of improvements made. There's a lot of new features in there. So I'm just going to show you how to set it up in Sublime Text first of all. Now we're going to do it through Sublime Text package control system. And if you don't know what that is, in Sublime Text you can get an add-on. And here's the web page. It's packagecontrol.io. I'll put a link in the description on YouTube. And then you go to installation and it'll bring you to this page. And then just follow these instructions here to install it in Sublime Text 3. You can install it in Sublime Text 2 as well, but uh, you'll need it in Sublime Text 3 to use the KSP add-on. So once you've got package control installed, you can open up Sublime Text and you can either hit Control Shift and P, and you can see it brings this uh, little box up here, or you can go to uh, Preferences, Package Control. So once you're in Package Control, you type Install, and you can see it says here Install Package, so you just hit Enter. Um, once you've selected it, hit enter and just give it a moment to load and here it gives you a list of all the packages that are available and we're going to search for Sublime KSP and that's not it, so let me see what's going on here so it comes up just as KSP, we can see the name here is Sublime KSP so we're going to install that and it just takes a moment and once it's installed we get this message and it tells us that it's installed and occasionally when you open Sublime Text it's going to automatically update your packages and you'll get a little message like this pops up telling you what's been updated but if we go to this link here I'm just going to paste that into my browser so paste this link in it's the one you get here and bookmark it and this is basically the guide to the new version of the KSP editor and this tells you some history about it and installation well we've already installed it so we don't need to look at that but we can take a look at all these new features and there's lots of new stuff in there uh, some of the stuff I find most helpful is arrays you can now define uh, you can now declare multi-dimensional arrays without having to set up properties and stuff like we used to have to do um, there's a whole bunch of new stuff. There's a thing called iterate macros. You should have a look at that. That's that's really useful. Um, all kinds of stuff. I might go through some of this in another video, but that's how we install the latest version of the KSP editor. And then once it's installed, down here where it says plain text, you will should have KSP as an option so that when you type uh, your KSP stuff in, you get syntax highlighting. You can also change this color as well if you don't like this uh, color scheme just go to preferences color scheme KSP and you can change it to whichever one you like I prefer the dark one and uh, that's pretty much it okay guys thanks for watching I hope you found this helpful there's a thread on VI control that is um, it was set up by the developer of this version of the KSP compiler and We've been posting there, um, reporting bugs and asking for new features and stuff like that. So if you're on VI Control, it's a good place to look. I'll post a link in the description on YouTube as well for that. And don't forget to follow Extant Audio on Facebook. Again, links in the description and Twitter and wherever else we are, I'll put some links in the description. All right, thanks again, and I'll see you next time.